Good afternoon, Tech Nation, and welcome to another Webinar Wednesday. Today we're joined by Dr. Michael Olding, Head of Product Management at RTI Group. Webinar Wednesday would like to thank this week's sponsor, RTI. RTI provides complete quality assurance solutions for all x-ray modalities and facilities. Click and Go Solutions for your X-Ray QA. For more information about today's sponsor, I want to encourage everyone to visit rtigroup.com. Again, the sponsor's URL would be rtigroup.com. A couple of reminders before we get started with the presentation. I do want to remind everyone about the upcoming Fall MD Expo. We're headed to the Carib Royale Hotel in Orlando, Florida from October 29th through 31st. Join us for three days of education, networking, and the latest advances in medical technology products and services. Registration is now open, and more details can be found online at mdexposhow.com. And also today on your webinar dashboard in the handout section, you'll find a copy of our pre-show planner and some additional information regarding the MD Expo. Today's webinar, as always, is eligible for one CE credit from the ACI. You can obtain the CE certificate by completing the post-webinar survey. The survey is going to be emailed to you one hour after the completion of today's webinar. You must complete the survey to receive the CE credit. You'll be able to download your certificate directly from your computer once that survey is submitted. And if you have any questions along the way, please be sure to reach out to webinar at mdpublishing.com. All right, before we start today's presentation, we always want to give you the opportunity to win some really fun Webinar Wednesday swag. This week, we've got an awesome tie-dye Keep HTM Weird Webinar Wednesday t-shirt. Uh, the first attendee that can answer the following trivia question will be our winner. The question is, this month is August. We're almost done with August. Which state is known as the Peach State? Answer now using the question feature on your dashboard, and I'll reveal, I'll reveal the answer at the end of the webinar. We'll wrap up today's presentation with a live Q&A, so as we're listening to uh, our presenter, please make sure to use the question feature on your dash, dashboard to submit any questions. As I mentioned earlier, our presenter is Dr. Michael Olding, and he will be discussing significant time savings when performing x-ray testing in the hospital environment. This is a real case study. So Michael, you may begin whenever you're ready. Thank you very much, Jamie. Uh, so let's begin. Um, so as you mentioned in the webinar today, we're going to look at um, significant time savings when performing x-ray testing and quality assurance in the hospital environment. Uh, so today's study is looking at a real-life case study, uh, looking at using RTI group products uh, for x-ray testing and quality assurance uh, in a hospital environment uh, in Maastricht in the Netherlands, uh, and looking at how they increase their efficiencies um, when performing x-ray testing. Um, so I'm Mike Loading, I'm Head of Product Management at RTI Group, um, and RTI um, produce X-ray testing and quality assurance solutions uh, for medical and diagnostic X-ray. So today's webinar is going to focus a little bit on software in X-ray testing. Um, so we know that software in healthcare um, has made a big impact over recent years, and especially as there's increased pressure to reduce the total cost of ownership and maintenance of imaging equipment, the need for efficiencies increases. Um, so we know that software has impact efficiency in all industries, including healthcare. We've got some examples there of Epic, the PAC system, motion correction software, minimizing dose to patients, reducing scan times, um, and even artificial intelligence in recent years to reduce the analytical time and increase diagnostic accuracy. So today we're gonna to focus on how Ocean software can improve efficiencies in x-ray testing and quality assurance. Um, and in x-ray testing, Ocean software has already been implemented 
um, by hundreds of x-ray manufacturers, OEMs, um, service organizations and service groups, hospitals, biomed and clinical engineering departments, uh, physicists and state inspectors. So is your team or department next? We're going to look at in this webinar a case study to show you how a group of engineers and physicists um, used the software to increase their efficiency. And here is an overview of the case study we'll be looking at in the webinar. Um, we have uh, the team at Maastricht UMC Hospital in the Netherlands. And the, the sort of headline quote is, what used to take us three to four hours now takes 25 minutes. Um, so the focus of the case study is going to be this system that you see um, in the picture here, uh, using x-ray test tools and software to increase efficiency from three to four hours to 25 minutes. And that's using the same hardware solution just by maximizing the use of software and reducing manual data entry. So the agenda for this webinar, um, I'll do an introduction to X-ray QA and testing and the solutions from RTI Group as an introduction. We'll have a little look into the case study overview and the details of how they work uh, in the hospital in Maastricht and why they needed a more efficient solution. And then we'll look at getting started with Ocean Software um, and on to maximizing efficiencies in X-ray testing. And that's using Ocean Software and specifically Ocean Templates, uh, as we'll see, um, to increase efficiency. And finally, we'll look at data sharing with MyRTI. So an introduction into RTI Group, X-ray testing and QA solutions you may already be familiar with. And first we can see the RTI global coverage. So you can find RTI solutions all around the globe. Uh, we have offices in Singapore, uh, the headquarters in Moldau in Sweden. I'm actually based in the UK, so we have a presence here. And we have a sales and service and calibration lab uh, in our North America headquarters in New Jersey. <clears throat> so when we look at um, X-ray testing and X-ray applications, um, we really focus on this area uh, of, of, of medical X-ray applications. So I've previously worked in industrial X-ray that they're used um, in a wide range of applications there. We know that X-rays are used in therapy, but RTI solutions are focused on sort of the diagnostic range and the KV area of therapy. So we talk about mammography, dental applications, uh, surgery and CT, vascular, radiography, veterinary and fluoroscopy. So our solutions cover the whole range uh, of those modalities. And we typically operate in the range of 18 to 160 kV. So down to mammography, which is the lower end, all the way through radiography and CT to the higher end of that spectrum. And so we're going to take a look at the main products that RTI offer today. And the focus of the case study we're going to look at is the Piranha Multi. An RTI group offer a, a family of our premium Piranha model. That's an X-ray test tool, a non-invasive uh, QA test tool. And we also have a, a family of Cobias, which can also be used for X-ray testing. And in the center of this solution is our Ocean software. So our Ocean software can be connected to the whole Piranha family and Cobia family, either via USB cable or wirelessly via Bluetooth. We also have a full range of probes and accessories which can connect to our Piranha family or Cobia family and therefore to the Ocean software, such as dose probes, uh, CT probes, so your typical CT ion chambers and CT dose profiler. We have DAP, dose area product and ion chambers. And many engineers will be familiar with uh, mass probes. So either invasive mass that we call our mass one or non-invasive mass, which is our mass two product. Uh, and also a light probe. So we have a full range of probes and X-ray meters that can be used for quality assurance and testing in the hospital environment. The latest addition to our portfolio was the RTI scatter probe in recent years. So that 
detects X-ray scatter and leakage from the X-ray tube and uh, around the X-ray room. And this is compliant with um, regulations such as IEC and CFR, and followed by the FDA. So that's fully um, accredited uh, for those regulations. So what is X-ray testing and quality assurance? Many engineers will be familiar with um, the testing process. So um, the main aim of X-ray testing and QA is obviously patient and staff, staff safety. So we want to ensure that the output of the X-ray tube is as it should be, that we're not giving any more dose or um, too, too little image quality to the, to the, to the um, image receptor. So maximizing image quality, reducing patient and staff dose, and avoiding repeat exposures and extending the system lifetime. So ensuring that the X-ray system is always uh, in peak condition to provide those images. It's also regulated by law. So the guidelines and protocols will differ by region, uh, but typically the safety standards are specified by the local competent authority, which need to be adhered to, which is also a factor in this case study we're going to look at today. Typical measurement parameters that we look at when we talk about X-ray testing. Um, so KVP, the exposure time, HVL or half value layer, total filtration, dose, dose rate, mass, DAP, and many other parameters, which we're gonna look at today. And also the presentation of waveform data is important when we talk about X-ray testing. And beyond those measurement parameters, as engineers typically have to perform tests such as accuracy, reproducibility, constancy, constancy, CTDI and many more. And we're going to take a little look a bit deeper about how to perform those tests in the case study. So the key topics for today's webinar and looking at the software are simplicity for the engineers ease of use, but also efficiency, traceability and compliance. When we're performing these x-ray tests, we want to ensure we're doing it in an efficient manner, in a traceable way, and that we're complying with the local standards. So now we're going to look at the case study which we're going to be talking about today. So I visited a hospital in Maastricht, Maastricht UMC, that's University Medical Center. And Maastricht is one of the leading academic hospitals in the city of Maastricht. And it's part of the Netherlands Federation of University Medical Centers. So I managed to join them for a day and look at how they perform the X-ray testing and QA protocols and how using the software really enhanced their efficiencies and understood the way they worked with, their, with our products. So they had a team of seven biomedical engineers and three physicists. So they have to work together um, in the hospital because they're responsible for X-ray testing on systems throughout the whole hospital and overall quality assurance of those systems. So they're the ones going up to the system, performing these tests, producing the reports and signing off the systems um, back, to the, back to the staff and the doctors. Um, so previously, the team there used to perform analysis using Excel. So they had a lot of manual input when they were performing their tests. When they made the X-ray exposures, they had to perform manual inputs and calculations, analysis and reporting. And they found that it took a very long time and lacked traceability. And so we're going to look at how they tr transitioned to using Ocean software, which allowed them to perform a full acceptance test on this, on this system and, of course, many others, reducing the time taken from three to four hours to just 25 minutes. And that was using the same hardware setup and just maximizing the efficiency of the software. And all the measurements performed in the case study were, were done by the engineers and not by the physicists, although they obviously collaborate together. So maybe we can draw parallels with, with many scenarios working in a hospital where we have to perform X-ray testing. And the team are responsible for numerous modalities and different system types throughout the hospital. So they're not just confined to, to one modality. So they're responsible for nine cardiovascular systems, 
uh, nine C arm systems, as we've got a, a mock image down here where the tube is at the bottom there and the detector at the top. They have five what are called regular Bucky systems, so your typical X ray system um, where the patient can obviously be lying on the on the bed or facing the um, the image panel to get an X-ray of the of the chest wall. There, they're also responsible for three mammography systems. So, using the lower KB range in mammography uh, to image um, the soft tissue and breast tissue, and also four CT systems, uh, including a brand new photon counting CT system. And they're utilised across many departments with the hospital. So they have to. Um, obviously go into different departments and rooms and they have to perform these x-ray tests whether it's the annual services or you know more spontaneous um, occasions where they have to go in and so the demands for efficiency are there where they want to get the system back up and running and hand it back over to the doctors as, as efficiently as possible that's across all those departments in the hospital so it's important that the team have a robust QA system that allows the engineer to walk up to the system, perform these checks as accurately, as efficiently as possible, and then get the system back up and running. So the team in Maastricht would have typically have one modality per engineer that they would be responsible for, but they would all uh, have the training to, to cover each other across the different modalities. So what um, test solution, what test tools or x-ray meters did they use in the case study? And as I mentioned, RTI group have the Piranha family, but the solution in this case study we're going to look at is the Piranha Multi with Ocean software. So the Piranha can be used across modalities, so you can have a Piranha RF or a Piranha Mamo, but the Piranha Multi covers all modalities. So it's an all-in-one x-ray meter. So it covers radiography and fluoroscopy, mammography, dental, and computer tomography, or CT. So we're gonna look at how they use that solution. But before we get to their exact method, we're gonna take the first steps into the software. The team at Maastricht used Ocean software to increase their efficiencies, um, but we want to get started with Ocean Next in a simple way. Let's start with Quick Check that we're going to look at. And when we talk to engineers, um, typically one of the initial feedbacks is that um, software is difficult. So in this webinar, we're going to look at um, sort of busting that myth, if you like. We're going to look at how easy it is to get up and running with the software, because typically it can be um, uh, in the in different hospitals or, or medical settings that people may just use a display device and they don't use software or see the benefit of software or think it's too complex. And sometimes um, there's, a, there's a narrative that the software may be uh, too difficult or has complicated selections, or you have to make lots of settings to, to get up and running, but that's not true. So we're gonna look at how you can get up and running in a really simple way with the software, just to take measurements uh, and see the measurement parameters displayed in the software. And the team in Maastricht um, said that the Ocean Next software, the latest software from RTI, is a lot easier. And we're going to start with Quick Check, which has a simple, intuitive interface, easy to use, and no complicated settings. So to set up the Piranha, uh, we have the Piranha in its case here, lightweight case. We're going to turn the Piranha on with the switch on the side, and we're going to place it into the X-ray beam. So here we have our X-ray system with the X-ray tube, the X-ray detector. And this here is just a, a lead shield just to protect the detector from X-ray exposure as we're performing the testing. So the Piranha is nice and simple to set up in the system. And here we have our physicists and engineers talking together. But this is just to show that the, um, one of the key benefits of this solution and using software is it's completely wireless. You don't need any USB cables to perform X-ray testing. You do have the option, so you can um, plug in a cable to the Piranha in certain scenarios. But here, as we see, we place the Piranha under the X-ray system. We open our Ocean software 
which can be across a tablet or a laptop device, uh, and we'll connect to it via Bluetooth. And if you've already connected to the Piranha, um, Ocean Software will just automatically reconnect at the next time you open. So it makes it nice and efficient. So we're in the X-ray room here, we place the Piranha, we can connect to it in the room to start with, just to make sure we've got the connection. And then we go take the laptop to the control room uh, to make the exposures. So we don't need any wires, we don't need cables running across the floor or through the doors. We can then set up the Piranha as seen, so that's ready in the X-ray system. And we walk into the control room where we can make X-ray exposures. So here we have the lead glass, so we can see the, the X-ray console here for the system, for the X-ray system where we can take exposures. And here you can see on the desk, the Ocean software on a laptop, which is wirelessly connected to the Piranha. So that when we make an exposure, the data is gonna stream straight to our display device um, and it's all contained within the software. And then we're gonna get the first step into the software is quick check. Um, so if I go back one slide here, you'll see that actually what they're using on the screen is Ocean templates. And we're gonna have a little look at how they set those up to maximize their efficiency. But sometimes if you just walk up to the system, you just wanna make a simple measurement. You just wanna check the KV or the, or the dose output of the system. Um, that's where you can use the first step, which is quick check. And in quick check, we have a very simple display here of the measurement parameters. We have the waveform data on the top right, and we have an exposure log in the bottom right. So typically we can see tube voltage, exposure time, dose and dose rate, HVL and total filtration are our typical parameters for radiography for a single exposure. And it's important that we always see the waveform in the quick check as well because that can tell us a lot about the, um, the profile of the output. Even if we have a value that is in line with what we expect, we can see if the generator is overshooting or undershooting. Um, and we always, always have that waveform available. So on this next slide, um, I've got a small video just to show how easy it is to start the software. So if engineers are familiar with a display device, this kind of software might seem like a big step. Um, but it's really quite simple. And Ocean Next is designed in a similar way to Microsoft Office applications. So for example, Microsoft Word. When you open Word, you get this backstage appearance where you can do many things with the software. You can see you're most recently used. But Quick Check is like our blank document. If you went into Word, you open up a blank document, Opening quick check is just like that. So I'm gonna let this run on. So just to display values from the Piranha and the X-ray system to Ocean Software. And here you can see we get one selection. It's not a complicated selection. You don't need to configure lots of complicated settings. Ocean is just asking us what modality that we want to use the Piranha in. So as I mentioned, this is a Piranha Multi can be used across all the X-ray modalities, different KV ranges, different applications. And we all we have to do is tell the software what modality we want to run in. So we're gonna select radiography. And then the software auto configures to that modality. Um, so you see, we only see the parameters that we need to see for this modality. And I'm gonna take a, a couple of um, exposures here. It's just sample data here, just to show you that we take a couple of exposures, we have our exposure log, and we can look at the waveform. Um, and some people who are familiar with um, a display device say, well, I can see nine parameters on a display device. And when I see here, I only see six parameters. So, you know, um, why is that? So on the next slide, we're gonna look at making a different selection. So if we went into quick check and but this time we select fluoroscopy, which is pulsed radiation, you'll see that the software again auto configures to that modality. So that now we have a couple of extra um, measurement parameters, such as um, the number of frames in the exposure. So for this pulsed radiation, 
uh, the frames per second and the exposure per frame. Um, and so you do have to make that one selection, just telling Ocean Software which modality you're in if you have a Piranha Multi. You can also customize the software so that it goes straight into your preferred modality so that you never have to make that selection if you only use it in one. But this is just to demonstrate that the software um, is um, really quite simple to get up and running with. You just select quick check, select your modality, make an x-ray exposure, and you'll see all the data that you'll be familiar with when performing x-ray testing. Um, and here is just a demonstration if you have external probes attached as well. So for example, if you have a piranha in the x-ray beam, you can also add external probes. So as engineers, you may be familiar with um, mass, um, measuring MA and tube mass. And you can do that with our, with our mass one product, which is what we call our invasive probe, where you connect um, to the uh, mass socket in the X-ray generator with a couple of cables to measure the tube current in uh, radiography and fluoroscopy. Or you could use our non-invasive mass two, as I'm showing here, where you simply just clamp it on to the high voltage cable here and you can get a reading. So if you get a pop-up in Ocean, when you add an external probe, it's simply gonna ask you, do you want to see um, measurements from just the piranha? Do you want to see the measurements from just the mass um, probe that you've attached? Or do you want to see them both together? And in this example, just to illustrate, we have them both together so that you can get the X-ray output measured by the piranha in the X-ray beam. And you can use an external probe to measure, for example, tube MA and tube mass. And you can see that all in a single exposure. So there's no complicated settings in the software. Um, it's simply just to get you up and running, make sure it auto configures to your modality and just to make sure you see the values that you want to see. And the big advantage of doing that and using software in this application is that typically if you use a display device, even though it might be one click quicker, when you come to produce a report or produce the output of your testing, you then have quite a lot of um, manual data entry to produce. And typically people can either write these figures down or use Excel. And one issue with that is traceability. Uh, and it's also less efficient if you start writing numbers in Excel. So in this video, I'm also gonna just demonstrate that in Ocean, we have one click automated reporting. So I'm gonna drag it across just so that you can see, so that we can produce a report we can customize it with text and logos. Um, and all these figures directly from the Piranha are automatically entered into the report. And you can also include waveforms in the report and you can always add the test equipment that was used and the date. Um, so you can customize that report to how you want, to, how want it to look. And so the idea of that is kind of the principle of using software. That was just a simple um, measurement that we've made where we get measurement parameters. But by using software, by streaming the data to the software, then when you come to reporting and analysis, everything can be automated from there. So you take out a huge step of manual data entry and um, coming across transcription errors, typing errors, um, and entering the wrong data into the wrong cell. So to achieve significant time savings in X-ray testing, we're going to look at a similar principle, um, but by using Ocean templates rather than quick check. So in this case study, we have our engineers and our physicists, and they need to perform a full acceptance test on this system. It's a brand new system, it's newly installed, and the engineer needs to um, perform the right tests in order to sign off the system. So performing the right tests means collaboration between engineers and physicists. That's typical around the globe where physicists have a, a large role in, the, um, in you know, the acceptance criteria and the reference values uh, and you know, the process and the protocols that are used. And in this case, we also have to be in line with um, guidelines, compliance with regulation. And in this case, it was the Dutch Society for Clinical Physics and their um, you know, recommendations um, because 
they're the national regulations for obviously where Maastricht is located. So what I just demonstrated is simple measurements with quick checks. So you may walk up to the x-ray system and you just want to check, is it accurate? Do we get the values we have selected? Is the dose and the KV um, what, what I expect it to be? And is it bearing during the exposure? And what does the waveform look like? So we have this x-ray exposure. It's fully traceable because it stays within the software. And we have one click automated reporting. But typically when you have to sign off a system like this, you have to do a number of tests. Um, so measurements that require calculations. So more than just showing KV or a dose. And those kind of checks involve, for example, repeatability tests. Is the output consistent if you repeat the exposure over a number of times? Uh, consistency checks, um, whether the output has changed since the baseline. And then we have other checks like constancy, linearity, accuracy checks. Um, examples are dose per mass. Does the output vary with MA or KV? Certain HVL tests and calculating CT dose index. These are all measurements that require more than just showing display parameters. And the team at Maastricht had to do just this. And again, you may draw parallels from this in many hospital sites in the US and all around the world where you have to do more than just um, measurement parameters. You have to do accuracy tests like the team at Maastricht, linearity, reproducibility, dose rate tests, DAP, spatial resolution. So how do you then perform those tests? Well, this is what took the team at Maastricht a long time because the old method that they used to use was Excel. So they would collect the data like perhaps we've seen with a display like QuickCheck or a display device or you know, just a simple showing of the parameters. But then they would have lots of calculations in an Excel template. And so they'd have to make the right exposures, see the values on a screen, and then type into an Excel sheet into all the specific cells that they need to type into. And that would take a long time. And also the reporting was also manual. So they said manual typing took a lot of time. There was a lot more risk with what we call transcription errors, obviously typing, you know, when you're in an x-ray room, you're doing, you're doing the measurements. It's enough just to take the measurements, let alone perform all the manual analysis and be at risk of transcription errors, typing the wrong thing, you know, people talking with you in the room and entering the wrong data. It's very easily done. So we wanted to remove that, you know, risk. And also the protocols were not aligned with regulations because any engineer could type anything into an Excel sheet and it's hard to create a protocol in an Excel sheet. And they said the report generation was also manual. So that took a lot of time. That's what it would take an engineer to go up to the system, find the right Excel database. Um, and this is just a, an example only. This isn't an exact Excel workbook, but just to show you, you can imagine, I'm sure you may be familiar if you performed it in the past, you know, making an exposure, just taking out specific values from that exposure and typing it into a huge Excel sheet. And if you get things wrong or a calculation fails, the traceability is very difficult. And as soon as you take it out of the software, it's very difficult then to validate who, when, where, and with what device um, the measurements have been performed with. So that's a big issue. And that's why so many X-ray manufacturers and OEMs and uh, service groups are looking into software not just these efficiency gains, but also uh, the traceability. So what happens when we need to perform these HVL tests, KVP reproducibility and accuracy? Well, that's where we use Ocean templates. So instead of quick check, we just replace that with an Ocean template, which is a predefined routine, has images of the setup, everything's automated, automated analysis and pass fail values. And so now they use Ocean templates, automated routines. It's a lot easier, significant time savings, three to four hours to 25 minutes, because data is processed automatically in Ocean. Engineers don't have to take a risk. They don't have to type things out into an Excel sheet. That one click automated reporting um, saves a really lot of time. Protocols are now lined with regulations. Because as we'll see in the Ocean template, you can configure reference values. You can make sure all the tests are done according to a regulation. 
and the report is automated, saving even more time. So traceability, efficiency, data security and compliance are all the key features of keeping the data within Ocean software and not exporting out and doing manual typing into an Excel sheet. And year after year, um, what do I mean by that? Well, once you have a, a template for a system, you can use that the next year. You can use that for another system and you can apply these efficiency gains across many systems and modalities. So here we are back in the case study. I introduced us to Quick Check, which is just the simple measurement display. But as you can see, they haven't got Quick Check on the screen. They've got an Ocean template. So what are Ocean templates? They're automated predefined routines that you can configure within Ocean. Customizable um, with images that you can add, automated analysis, pass, fail, and reporting. They can be locked or shared um, to make it easy for a team of users to use, and they're fully traceable from X-ray exposure through to reporting. So here is a zoom in of, of the, um, the template that they're using. And so the advantage of an Ocean template is that it's like an Excel sheet that does all the calculations within the software automatically for you. So you can just take the X-ray exposure and everything is then calculated automatically. You don't have to type it into an Excel sheet. And in this display, we can see on the left-hand side of the screen, there's big values. So what, what is this? This is the set value panel. To make it really easy for engineers to perform these tests, all the important information you need to see to make an exposure is shown large on the left-hand side. So for example, in this exposure, we want 400 MA, we want 81 KV, we want 20 mass, and we want the focal spot to be in the large setting rather than small, for example. And so you just make the exposure, make sure these um, criteria are fulfilled, and then everything is done automatically. So before we come back to their actual template that they were using, I've got a short demonstration just to show how easy it is to use a template. So here we are in Ocean in the homepage. We previously saw Quick Check and how easy that was to use. Um, but here we're going to click Favorite. And here we're going to use a predefined template which is for kvp accuracy and these actually you can have the templates pre-installed in ocean so you don't even have to create them from scratch they already exist in ocean so you can just do minor edits and in this template we've even customized it with an image and guidance for the user so if you're an engineer you go up to a system how do you set up the piranha well with a template reduce the training times reduce the setup errors you can customize it with an image in the template. So there's no setup errors, you know how to customize, um, how to set up the piranha in that system. Gonna click OK. And then as you see, this is a very simple template, but here all I need to do is see the value on the left-hand side, 60 KB, make an exposure, and everything is done automatically. This one's 70 KB. And as you can see in this template, I've got a hint coming up, which means I've customized it with another image, which you can do throughout the workflow as well. Um, so we're gonna see, now we've got a hint popped up. We can click okay, carry on with our template. And you'll see all this analysis that you typically do in Excel is already done for you. So in this case, I've, I've shown just as some mock data, what happens when it's outside our tolerance. So as we're going through this template, we have a set value. So what you set on the X-ray console, we have the actual measured value, and then we have our custom analysis, which shows what we want to see. So the difference in percentage between what it's supposed to be and what's actually measured. And here we have automated analysis, which you can put your criteria such as plus minus 5%. So we're gonna finish this template. Again, very easy for the engineer to go through. No complicated settings, no manual data entry. It's all done automatically. And remember, we always have that one-click automated report. So here you can see I've produced this report um, and you can see the values which were outside of our tolerance. So straight away, we've produced a report um, and we can customize this to show what we want to show. Again, you can see here the measurements that were within our tolerance and here there's a little red dot that was the one that was outside our tolerance and you can see above 100 kv 
it starts to increase towards that 5% tolerance where it hits 5% there. So that's why we, typically you perform such tests. Rather than just at one value, you do KVP accuracy test across the whole range so that you know that it's consistent and we don't have varying um, yeah, X-ray output at the different KVs. Okay, so that's, that's a, how easy a template is. And in this demo, we're also going to do another one. And this one's for a QA for a whole RAD room, just as an example. And here you see within the template, we have the typical test that you might be expected to perform as an engineer. Previously, we showed KVP accuracy, but now we've got a reproducibility test. We've also got mass linearity. Again, everything's shown on the left-hand side for you to see. So you just make the exposures and everything's automated. HVL tests, KVP accuracy test, and then a questionnaire. So questionnaires are also helpful. As an engineer, you might have to do physical tests uh, or physical checks on a system. Are the covers mounted properly? Is the collimation functioning? Is there an audi audible exposure signal? Is there a warning label? You can also put this into your template, meaning that you, know, you can just go through this um, sheet once you're doing your x-ray tests and have it as part of the report. It's another, another part of the process automated by Ocean. So here I'm showing once you've done all the measurements, you just click the report and everything's generated for you. And really that's these Ocean templates um, are, are the key to efficiency when performing x-ray testing. Once you have a template, you can streamline your x-ray testing. Um, you don't need to enter all of that data into Excel. You don't need to find different Excel books and check with physicists. Once everyone's happy with the template, engineer walks up to the system, sees the values you need to see, make an exposure and let the software do the rest for you, fully automated. And here you can see, this is a different language here, so it's Dutch. So I've sort of translated that for, we, for us here. Um, but here in the multi-page template that we see, we have accuracy tests, reproducibility tests, dose rate tests, DAP tests, just like I showed. And the engineers, for example, have to set different mass settings. So 5, 10, 20, 40, they get an exposure value, but then what they need to do according to their uh, national regulations is do exposure relative to set mass. And you can see here 0 0.034, 0 0.034, 0 0.034, 0 0.034, all across the board. And down here, maybe a bit difficult to tell, but their pass criteria was 0.2%. So the whole thing passed. So what used to take three to four hours, if you're an engineer doing these tests and you're just manually typing into Excel and you're doing all this analysis on your own, make sure you utilize Ocean software. Because once you have a template, your whole routine can be um, automated. Not only the efficiency gains that we've seen here, um, but also traceability with an Excel. That was one issue that um, they didn't like in Maastricht that things could be changed too easily. With Ocean, you know from X-ray exposure through to X-ray report, everything is traceable. And again, that's, that's part of the value of using the software. So make sure you don't, you're not scared of using the software to begin with, take those first steps into quick check, and then all these templates are already built into Ocean so you can start using them and customize them to your application. Um, so we've discussed the efficiency, improved traceability and compliance, and also the ease of use for engineers. You don't have to risk or be hurried up trying to do manual calculations and getting things wrong and, and putting that risk on yourself. With Ocean, let the software do it for you. And that's just one system, just one system that we talked about today, three to four hours to 25 minutes. And that gives you a lot of time in just one day to get back to do other tests. But you can imagine applying those efficiency gains across different systems, different modalities, a group of engineers working across you know, a county or a state, um, different departments. And that's where the big companies and x-ray manufacturers and service organizations gain these efficiencies. Once you have a template, you can automate these, these processes, make it a lot quicker for the engineers and also easier. So 
that was a summary of the case study and we just have one small section left and that's um, efficiencies in data sharing. So I'm just going to have a couple of minutes on data sharing as well because you might say okay seeing how easy the software is, simple, simple to use, one click automated reporting, once you have a template everything's really efficient. What about the admin of sharing templates and emailing back and forth and making sure you have the right version for example? Well we have a solution for that as well. And the team at Maastricht as part of the case study were beta testers for our software, our new functionality called MyBox, which is within the MyRTI platform. So when you launch Ocean, you'll need a MyRTI account and it's all linked through MyRTI, so it links to your Ocean software. So it's all automated. And what MyBox allows you to do is just like any cloud software like Google Drive, Dropbox, it's basically um, Dropbox for your Ocean software. So you can back up your entire measurement database. If you're doing all this work in Ocean, everything's traceable. You want to make sure that if you break your laptop, pour coffee over it, you can start on a new laptop or a new tablet and you can sync your entire measurement database. So you, the, the data is never lost. And also data sharing. It also allows you to share di data directly from Ocean to Ocean. That means you cut out a lot of admin time. So we're going to look at a use case for that. And it's a subscription service, but everyone, all users of Ocean get a six month free trial. So if you're in a department, you want to start sharing data, make sure you start using Ocean. All of the members of your team can start a free trial and start sharing data with each other. Make a template, share it with another user. Or share a measurement straight from Ocean to Ocean. So this is a typical use case that we have in Ocean to maximize those efficiencies across a large team or a medium sized team or even a small team. Where we have someone who makes the templates, they distribute it maybe on a shared drive so engineers can download them and then upload a PDF report to a local server. But you can gain even more efficiencies um, through this um, cloud service. Because once you have an Ocean template in your Ocean software, you can then share it directly with other Ocean users. And of course they get the ability to accept or reject, but basically you share it into a shared folder, just like Dropbox, just like Microsoft Teams. You can share that template with a whole team of engineers. That means that all they have to do is open their Ocean software and it's available for them in a shared folder. They've had to do no pre-work or anything else to it. They access that template directly in their Ocean. And if someone says, well, that was a good template, but can you add a picture of the setup? I wasn't quite sure. Then the first user makes an update to that template. We have version 2.0. And as soon as you make an update that's shared with other users, again, that's automatically populated. So everyone always has the latest version of the template. And then as you progress, you'll see the efficiency gains increase. You'll probably create a template for system X, system Y, system Z whether that's different um, systems or modalities. And that really can improve efficiencies across the whole range of systems, especially in a hospital environment where you have different systems every single day that you're going to. So then all of these users can standardize the way they're testing, standardized reporting, compliance, data security, efficiency, and reduced admin time. Um, so not only the templates themselves reduce time, but also this way of sharing data will allow you to enhance efficiencies even further. So to summarize, um, that was a, an overview of the case study where we went to see these um, engineers and physicists. Um, there's Ralph who kindly allowed us into the department and gave us access and how they use the software and gave us insight into how they, how they used Ocean. And the engineers, as I said, they were the ones to make this um, three to four hours to 25 minutes. It was an engineer who went up to Ocean Software with no heavy training, just an introduction to here's the software, made the exposures, template ran through, everything passed, 25 minutes, the system was validated, a full acceptance test on the system. Um, so there are other examples out there where Ocean Software does the same for many companies. Here was just one case study, but it can do the same. If you're in a hospital environment, you're still using Excel, you're still using maybe pen and paper, you can really increase your efficiency as well as the software is really easy to use. 
it's fully traceable and you can be compliant with your local regulations. So that was the walkthrough that we took today. Ocean Quick Check, use that if you wanna get started. Ocean Templates, completely transform your efficiency. And then once you have those templates and measurements, you can share directly with your colleagues. So I said at the start of the presentation, um, Ocean software has already been implemented out there. We know by many X-ray manufacturers, OEM service organizations, hospital like Maastricht. This was just one case study that we showed to show these efficiencies that you can achieve. Um, is your team or department next? If you'd like to learn more, um, have a demo of Ocean software or understand how to use templates, then please do contact us. We've got some email addresses there. Steve Holmes, VP of Sales North America, his email's on there as well. And Eric Wickstrom is uh, manager of our RTI Academy, so can help you out with templates as well. So if you have any questions for me, my name's Michael, michael.olding at rtigroup.com. More than happy to take those questions as well and, um, and obviously finish with a Q&A as well. Great, Michael. I appreciate the time and the knowledge that you've shared so much today. And of course, as you were presenting, attendees did send over some questions that we'll go ahead and jump into as many as time will allow. Uh, first question I have, you mentioned a six-month free trial with my Box Cloud service. How do I activate this free trial? Yep, sure. So um, it's available to all users of Ocean. Um, so it will be through your My RTI account. So when you launch Ocean Next, um, you'll log into your My RTI account and that'll link to your um, Ocean software. So on the homepage of Ocean, there's a link to My RTI, which you can go to. Uh, and then you'll see within your My RTI portal, you can also use the, um, the direct link of myrti.rtigroup.com. And that's your personal user portal. And that's where you activate your free trial of MyBox. And then go back to your Ocean software and you can sync all your data to the cloud and then it's all automatic after that. So visit your MyRTI portal and, and that will be available to all users. Yeah. You demonstrated Ocean Next software. I've used a previous Ocean 2014 software from RTI. Can I still use the new software and does it keep my data? Sure. Um, so Ocean Next is obviously our latest software. You can transition from Ocean 2014 to Ocean Next and keep your data. Um, so when you launch Ocean Next for the first time, if you have Ocean 2014 on your computer, the, the install will ask you, do you want to copy over your data from the old software? And if you select yes in that first startup, all of your measurements and templates, if you used Ocean 2014 before, will be converted and made available in Ocean X software, which means you can transition to the latest software and still keep your database. The only caveat is that if you make exposures in or measurements in one software, they won't be synced between 2014 and Ocean Next um, because they have separate root folders, but you can transition the first time you install, you can bring that database with you and continue with the new software. So I'm going to combine two attendee questions uh, just in the interest of time. So I hope I'm not losing the context that they intended. But um, first part would be where could I access the example of Ocean templates that you mentioned to get started? And the second part of that is are these templates editable so that I can add more testing? Yes, absolutely. So if you have Ocean Professional License, uh, so when you launch Ocean Next, um, what I showed today was through the favorites bar, you can save your templates there for easy access. But if you go to the test view, there's a whole range of example templates that are available for every modality. And yes, you can customize them. So they're not, they're not locked, they're open. For example, if you wanted to start with KBP accuracy, you can use that as a starting point and just add you know, extra rows or extra tabs or extra images, you can then customize it from there. So you can take the example templates that are already in Ocean and customize them to your application. And that's what we would recommend. So if you wanna get started with that, um, obviously contact Steve as well, but Eric uh, Wickstrom at our academy, very knowledgeable, help many of our users with templates. So please get in contact with Eric and I'm, I'm sure he can 
give you every explanation of how to adapt those templates to your modality. Fantastic. I've got one additional attendee question. It's a bit long, so I'll read through it, but if you want me to read back through it, just let me know. Um, some CBCT units using a stitching basis in which two separate scans are performed to achieve a larger FOV, the pause in between scans will cause a false reading with the piranha. Is there a way to compensate for this? Um, so I think that question was about cone beam CT. Um, so you're probably using, uh, depending on the accessories you're using with piranha or just piranha itself, and I guess it would depend on the setup. So um, if you'd like to email that one to me and you can explain the, the full setup, then I'm sure we can we can take a look at um, your specific uh, scenario to, to see how that, that measurement would work. But um, yeah, maybe let's uh, definitely drop me an email on that one and uh, can get back to you on your specific setup just to make sure I understand fully what how, how it's set up in the system. Perfect. Well, Michael, to help you out with that, I'm going to go ahead and email over that question and the attendees' contact information for you so you can reach out offline at your convenience. And again, I want to thank you for a great presentation. Uh, of course, I want to encourage everyone that's listening today, visit RTI Group's website. You can learn more about the services and the products that they provide to this industry by going to rtigroup.com. Uh, before I share the answer to this week's trivia question, I want to tell everyone, uh, all of our webinar attendees, that Tech Nation is really excited to announce the Tech Choice Awards. These are going to be the first awards that are 100% nominated by and voted on by the industry. Um, so if you will go to onetechnation.com, that's the number one, technation.com, on our homepage, you're going to see a Tech Choice Award graphic. Click it, learn a little bit more about the awards that we're bringing to the industry, and go ahead and start nominating yourself, your company, your director, your manager, your association, uh, whoever it is for some of these great categories. The answer to this week's trivia question, uh, well, it's Georgia. Georgia has a special place in my heart. That's where I'm broadcasting from today and one of the offices for MD Publishing. So congratulations to our winner. We'll be sending you a Webinar Wednesday t-shirt in the mail. Quick reminder, you can obtain your CE certificate by completing the post-webinar survey. That survey will be emailed in one hour from right now. You do have to complete the survey to receive the CE credit. Once you submit your survey, you'll be able to download the certificate directly to your computer, print it at your convenience, and save it for your journal. If you have any questions, you can always re reach us at webinar at mdpublishing.com. We'll be back next week with another webinar. You can see What's coming up over the next couple of weeks and months by visiting webinarwednesday.live. All right, Michael, thank you again. Tech Nation, we're going to see you next week. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you.